Hello everyone and welcome to my craft room. Uh, my name is Julianne Richards and I am a independent stamping up demonstrator in southern Tasmania. Um, apologies for having been away for a little while. Um, I usually do my videos on Fridays but I uh, had a slight dice with vertigo, a return of vertigo on Friday so I couldn't uh, put my head down to, uh, to craft. But uh, back on deck again now. Just checking my, my sound. It yep, looks all right there. Orientation looks all right. So let's get started. Um, having a bit of a struggle, I think probably because I am um, a little bit unwell at the moment, having a bit of inspiration. And there's nothing better for the lack of inspiration than um, popping onto social media with your stamping friends and asking them what they'd like to see. So that's exactly what I did last week. As my friends on Facebook said, um, various things like Father's Day and Christmas, which we're all sort of looking forward to Christmas, I think, to get uh, get this year out of the way, hopefully start with a new one. Um, but somebody also mentioned that they'd like to see some little um, stocking fillers, um, teachers' uh, teachers uh, gifts um, and, and little secret Santa gifts and things like that. So um, I have a favourite design which I make every year and um, it sells really well on my Etsy store and it is a little um, calendar, desk calendar with note pad and pencil and uh, so that's what I'm going to show you today. It's an easel card which makes it a little bit tricky to actually see um, in its upright position on the, the way I have my video camera here but uh, this is the front of it obviously you see it's got a little calendar here which is the 2021 calendar which we've all got great hopes for and I'm using here the little cat and the little dog and the sentiment from the Pampered Pets stamp set um, so that is uh, it's a really lovely little stamp set I think it's one of my favorites out of the annual catalog um, and uh, it's got this cute little dog which is the one we've used here, which reminds me of the dog out of um, out of the uh, what is it, Lady and the Tramp? For anyone who knows that movie, the original or the uh, remake, uh, same little guy, I think probably having a bit of a scratch of some fleas here, and a couple of cute pussy cats. This one looks like he's uh, a little bit shocked and surprised by something. But anyway, so we have that the stamp set with all the little sentiments, and it also comes with the dies as well for cutting out the the four main. Um, images there. Okay, so that's what we're going to use here. So you open up the um, the uh, calendar, the, the desk calendar, and you've got a, a pad of sticky notes there that you can uh, rip off and put your notes. So you pop this near the phone, um, near the phone, near your computer, whatever, you know, wherever you take your messages and things and uh, it'll last your lucky recipient all year round. I do actually have some little uh, bingo pencils that I um, attach down here with some ribbon and a hot gu uh, glue gun, so I'll, I'll show you that a bit later on. I just uh, haven't got around to doing it on this one yet, and it can be a little bit fiddly, so um, I might just show you how I do that. I won't actually do it, because um, it tends to make me a bit frustrated. So anyway, so this is our, our, our card. Basically, it fits in an envelope um, because it folds lovely and flat like that and it's quite good just to slip into um, you know for a teacher's um, gift or as I say a stocking filler or a secret sander. Okay so let's go with with doing this and I've just got everything cut already so I'll just go through the measurements with you. Okay so the easel itself everything's got a bit dog-eared there quite appropriate with the stamp. I'll sit myself down hopefully my sound won't go too far away sometimes put my microphone on the other side and it, um, it gets a bit muffled so hopefully I'll remember to keep talking okay so we've got a piece of cardstock here which is the length of an A4 maybe a little bit shorter so it's um, uh, 11 and a half by 4 and 1 8 inch I've scored it at the half at the uh, halfway mark at 5 and 3 quarters and then again at 2 and 7 eighths so we've got a score at two at seven eighths, score at five and three quarters, and it's 11 and a half inches long. And that forms, if you see that there, that forms the easel, the prop up, the propping up part of our easel. The front of our easel is another piece of uh, real red. This is real red cardstock. I love the red with the paper from the Pampered Pet Suite. Real red cardstock, and it is four and an eighth by five and three quarters. 
and it's eventually going to sit there just like that to give us an area to decorate for our easel card okay so that's fairly basic then what I've got is a couple of pieces of um, basic black and the basic black is cut um, a quarter of an inch smaller um, than our real red so it is five and a half by three and seven eighths so I've got two of those one's going to sit on that front panel there and one's going to sit on our base here and then I've got this really cute as I say mentioned designer series paper that goes with the pampered pet suite just take my glasses off um, yeah so this one's got dog bowls and dog collars and little feet and little bones um, well, I can see those I'll bring those a little bit closer so you can see that and on the other side we have some cute doggy words in black and white so it's a really lovely paper I really suggest you have a look at that paper if you've got doggy people in your life okay so and they are an eighth of an inch smaller than our basic black so it just fits with a tiny border of black around the edge um, now I'll bring in the rest of it um, once we've got this basic um, assembly done so millions of how-to videos and tutorials on Pinterest and YouTube and Instagram about how to make an easel card um, in fact I've probably made easel cards myself um, on, on YouTube as well this one with a slight step up okay so let's pop our paper on there so be careful if you're using your paper this particular paper it has a definite top and a definite bottom so it's an orientation so make sure you pop not so much this step but eventually make sure you pop it on the correct way up or it will look a bit funny oh gosh that was close back on paper onto black those both mounted up then it goes on to the red <coughs> excuse me got a frog in the throat then the black onto the real red and you're going to have a slightly larger border of the real red because I've cut it a little bit smaller and it's just beautiful that color so there we go so we've got that up and then the same here so this one is popping on the bottom so just to give you an idea of the orientation of that it's going on the base of our easel card so I've got this one with the dog and the cat on there if you were giving it to a particularly doggy person or a particularly catty person I mean a person who likes cats not someone who's catty um, then you could probably choose one or other image you wouldn't necessarily have to use both but I think they look really cute on here together so I'm going to do the same thing with this with this card okay and so what we can do now is we can put the um, the, the face front the front facing part of our easel is just going to glue onto this bottom half of here so just this bottom one here and it's just going to be the bottom half of this that glues on so line them up so they are nice and even straight and that's done so I say I sell a lot of these um, through my Etsy store so this part of it is pretty much in my um, muscle memory it's pretty pretty easy and the same for every design so here we go so that's our easel basically done so if you were doing this just as a card plain card you'd sort of decorate the front facing part there and excuse me and move my paper and then put some sort of little foot stop here to stop it from folding forward so you put something on dimensionals here but this is where we're going to put our sticky notes so it's going to do that job okay so the next part we'll pop that aside for a second the next part is to excuse me I've got to grab a calendar you get these little calendar um, tabs you can get them from your local craft store or online they're not expensive by any means but they are quite popular so um, I suggest you order early um, so they just have the 12 months of the year just in a very basic uh, week by week or month by month so that there um, so I've got this for 2021 um, so you need to measure your uh, your calendar 
and you need to cut a piece of the contrast or the red in this case I'm using the red that's just larger than that just so you've got a little backing little mat to back that with and the same goes with your um, your post-it notes this one is a three inch square post-it note so I've cut a another piece of real red that's an eighth of an inch larger just tiny poking out the, the back of that as well so that is um, going to go onto our calendar now so I'm going to put the post-it note on first so pop the real red onto the base as I say I put a, a little pencil there as well so I leave a good sort of three quarters of an inch at the front there probably centimetre and a half at the front so I've got room for my little pencil and then just pop that there okay and then just a little bit of glue on the back of the post-it note you don't really need to because the bottom one would probably be sticky anyway but just pop that on there and centre it and straight cool awesome so that's the post-it note part and as you can see that acts as a really good um, footstop for our easel so it won't fall over just like that okay so same with our little calendar I'm going to pop the, um, the real red backing on there first so it's good to have the, the um, calendar there because you know how far down you should or shouldn't go with the calendar you don't want it too far down so that it um, gets covered over by the post-it note okay, so just pop that one on December and pop that on as well okay so there we have the main parts of our calendar the business end of our calendar so now we get to do the fun bit the decorating okay so to decorate I have a Two squares from the layered squares layering squares die cuts so I've got a, a, a plain square in real red and a serrated square in basic black so they are the I'll tell you the dimensions of the so that's a two and a quarter inch or two and five eighths inch um, red square and the corresponding um, serrated square I'm going to pop those up on the top of our calendar here and then I'm going to decorate them with our little animals so I'm going to do the same as the previous one so I've got I've already stamped in black and die cut our little dog and our little cat and I'm going to color those in in a minute I might actually glue this down I don't think there's any reason why I shouldn't okay so we will put that aside for now okay so we'll color in our little dog and our little cat so the little cat I based on our, um, little, um, our little Maya who um, who left us a few months ago um, she was quite old and got quite sick so this is Maya here the little cat um, I've just got a um, dark smoky slate blend and Maya was a dark grey with a slightly lighter grey tummy and that's what I'm going to do here forgive me if I've gone quiet while well, my head is down while I'm while I'm colouring so you can go you could go all out with the decorating you could do it to match the animals of the person you're giving the card to you know, if they've got a, a black cat or a white cat or a brown cat or a tabby you could sort of colour the the animals to be whatever colour you know 
to personalise it to the person you're giving it to. And then I'm going to give her a slightly whiter, lighter grey on her belly there, on her chest. Just a dark. I'm going to sneeze in a minute, you will forgive me. <coughs> oh, bless me. I'll just bring the other one in so I can see what I've done. So I'm going to give her a slightly darker around the edges of her face. So that's just a bit there now you get the magic of our blends is that now I can excuse me pop over that with the lighter grey and blend it in so you don't get that beautiful you, you get that beautiful sort of two-tone colour and not a stark edge just blend it in very small light sort of um, circular motion I find works best for me but everyone has their different style there she is okay so the dogs um, the dog is I'm going to use um, light and dark crumb cake um, we have golden retrievers so I suppose I could make them gold or yellow but I think that's a nice colour for this little guy. And again, I'm going to give him a slightly darker... I have to be careful, I've got an old and a new dark crumb cake. And I'm going to grab the wrong one. I just know it. This feels like a new one. Okay, so... Again... Just going to colour most of it dark and then give him some light on his belly as well. I've got another video I'm going to do, so please um, pop back this afternoon. I'm going to do another video. Um, from the suggestions made by my uh, Facebook friends. I'm going to do a Christmas card, but I'm going to give it a slightly Australian, um, slightly Australian uh, flavour in the fact that I'm going to use the green and gold of the Australian sort of bushland um, to make that card. So please watch for that this afternoon. Um, I can't say I'm struggling a little bit with the Christmas Getting into the Christmas mood at the moment. It seems like the year has gone too fast and um, it doesn't seem like we should be thinking about Christmas. But with the new Christmas catalogue, which I'll show you in a moment, you can't help but think that way. Um, yes, I'm going to do a Christmas with a slight Australian um, slant. Because we don't have snow, we've got snow at the moment, we don't generally have snow at Christmas time because it's in our summer, obviously. So I do find the snow, <clears throat> as much as it's cute, the little animals and things that we have in the catalogue with the snow, uh, it's not really an Aussie Christmas. Excuse me there. So, I'm going to give him a little black nose. There we go. And I'm going to give him, to match the paper, I'm going to give him a real red collar. Just a touch of colour. There we go. Okay, so there are our little animals there. We've got our little... Come back, Pussycat. Let's check out that you can see those. We've got our little dog and our little cat. Our little best friends sitting there. Oh, I don't know that you can see that. There, our little best friends sitting there. 
all cozy and comfy. Sorry about that. My camera's at the other end today, which makes it difficult. It's usually at that end, but it's at this end today. Okay, so there's our little dog and cat. Okay, so what we might do now is we'll do our sentiment. And I love white heat embossing on black cardstock to go with this this uh, suite. It's just wonderful. And then I've got to make sure where do I put my stuff. Here we go. So I'm going to heat emboss the sentiment again in white embossing powder. And I've got to find my I've got stuff piled up here for my next video. Oh, I've tucked it away there. So here we've got my Versamark ink and my white embossing powder. And I'm going to grab the sentiment. And to be honest, this is probably the best sentiment for a calendar, isn't it, really, when you think about it? I hope your day is a real treat. So we can basically, every day, the person comes along, checks the day, writes their little note, and they've got that in their mind that you have wished them a great day. So I think that's perfect for a calendar. Okay, so we'll get a block. And then Versamark ink. I've got a little, um, just a little square scrap of, or rectangle scrap of um, basic black. Doesn't matter really where on that you stamp. So that's with our clear ink. And I'll bring in my catcher and my powder. And I had a fair bit there. And we've got that. So just forgive the noise. I'm going to bring in my heat gun and I'm going to just melt that down now people might notice that I actually come in from the back when I'm using my heat gun and that the reason is that I want the card because the card will um, curl with the heat um, it will always curls towards the ends curl towards the heat gun so I want this to sit better on my card when the um, when it's curling down rather than curling up, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's all done. Pop this away. Didn't make too much mess that time. That was good. Usually, me and embossing powder is a recipe for disaster. Okay, so got that little sentiment there and what I'm going to do is cut it out with some scissors um, following the contours of the sentiment so if you'd like a, a guide for this as you know when we prepare our stamps you've got this little you know, hopefully oh I kept it I hope I kept it oh lord I didn't keep it it must be here on the desk somewhere because oh no that's it there okay when you take the back off your stamps you get that little piece of um of uh, glossy paper on the back so that's the back of the stamp so what I do is I don't put it on there but I use it as a guide so you can see from this it's got a square uh, sort of flat straight bottom and then a couple of dips and things so I basically use that to guide my scissors when I'm cutting these things out so let's give it a go so we've got we're basically just keeping a a distance the same distance from your letters and the curve of your letters all the way around so we've got a bit of a curve there and we come out for our is get rid of the excess paper and back down here and slightly up for our the D in our day and then back down again and then you sort of have to anticipate you don't want the, the, the corners too sharp if that makes sense you sort of have to anticipate and if you've got a taller letter you have to start coming in for it a little bit earlier and curve off that A so there we are that would roughly correspond yeah 
with the curves on that little piece of paper. I've come a little bit closer, of course, because I didn't want to cover up too much of our cute little animals. Oh, I can't put that there. I'll put that there so I don't lose it again. Okay, so let's do the last little bit here. We'll bring in our animals. Look at my animals. Oh, there you are. Okay, so I'm going to put the um, sentiment on first because I want to have that up there and then sort of arrange my little animals around it. I'm going to put the sentiment on dimensionals. Just put it dimensional on one end and on the other. And pop that on. I think it's just off the edge a little bit. And straight. Yeah. I'm going to pop our little dog friend on just straight onto the card with glue. Just like that. His nose is just not quite touching the sentiment, pretty close to. And then I'm going to put our pussycat friend onto, onto some dimensionals as well. So he looks like he's sitting slightly in front of his dog brother. Got a beautiful clear day here in Hobart. Anyone who knows Hobart knows that we've got a, a mountain that backs our backs our city, which acts as a sort of a backdrop, quite a nice backdrop to our city. And um, it's got a light dusting of snow, which is what I mean when you when I say we have snow here now and not at Christmas time. There we go. Okay, so that is the front of our calendar done. What do you think of that? That's really sweet. I think I just love those colours. And it's going to sit up on our, on our de desk like that. And I'll just show you how I do the pencils, but I won't actually do it. Excuse me, I've got to find my pencils first. These are just a, sort of a batch of little red pencils that I bought from a local... Um, stationery store. They're perfect length as you can see. They just basically sit there in front. And so what I would do, I'd grab some matching ribbon and I think in this case I might use some black. Excuse me, I should have grabbed it first. I might grab some black ribbon or red. Red I think. I'm just showing that there's a... Yeah, I've got some real red ribbon here. And what you would do is grab your glue gun, get it all warmed up, which I haven't at the moment. Wrap your ribbon around your pencil a couple of times and trim it off. So you only need, oh gosh, we'll have a look and see how much that was. You only need, what, an inch and a quarter of, of ribbon. Wrap it around your pencil like that. Make sure it's nice and firm. Then bring your glue gun in and dab the glue there on the edge. It's going to stop it from fraying as well. There on the edge and then pop it down onto your um, the centre of the front there. And that will, because you've kept, got it nice and tight, it'll hold the pencil in place. Um, but as I say, it's a little bit fiddly and I tend to get it wrong a few times when I haven't done it for a while, so I won't do it on the video because I want you to keep that illusion that I know what I'm doing. Anyway, so the pencil will be there eventually. Okay, so that is my first video for today. As I say, I'm going to pop on later with an, a Christmas one. So we've got some cute little um, little um, desk calendars there, perfect um, teacher's present or um, stocking filler, or just to sort of something to send to somebody far, far away who, who loves animals or has a dog and a cat or a cat. Okay, so as I say, that is my first video for the day. Apologies, I seem to have worked my way up a bit there. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll give those a go. I'd love to see what you come up with. Um, you can decorate these in any number of different ways. Um, I've got another one here where I've used the poppies, the peaceful poppies. I haven't put the calendar, the, um, the little calendar or the notepad on yet, but you can see that one. Is some lovely poppies there and again in some this is poppy parade this one and today blooms just for you so some of those um, sentiments just perfect little daily reminders for somebody who's using the calendar so I'll, I'll finish that one off fairly shortly I'll pop that on the Etsy store as well 
so um, anyway thanks very much for watching I hope you learnt I hope you got something from that couple of techniques I might have to re-watch this one and make sure I didn't work my way up the screen too far before I pop it on but anyway um, I am so close to a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel so if you get this far in the video and you haven't subscribed yet please do so um, amazing things will happen when I get to a thousand subscribers I'm told so really looking forward to that so anyway have a great day and I will see you all again soon